In this video, we're going to walk you through the ScreenBeam 1000 EDU Gen 2 hardware. Starting from the top, you have the push button with an LED light. This LED will light up when there's power connected. The push button's main function is to restart or to reset the factory default. This function can be controlled from the management web page. On the back of the receiver, you have the power connector, the USB ports, the RJ45 Ethernet port, the HDMI display output port, and a 3.5mm audio output port. For the USB, the main function is to support the interactive touch panel. Once connected to the interactive touch panel, you have the option to use ScreenBeam built-in whiteboard. This feature is only available with the ScreenBeam 1000 EDU Gen 2. In addition, you can take advantage of the Windows Miracast built-in touchback feature. The network port is highly recommended for wire connection to support Miracast over the network, AirPlay screen mirroring, or Chromecast screen mirroring. It is also used for the screen beam management. The HDMI can support up to 4K60. However, the resolution is dependent on the video mirroring protocol that you use. For example, Miracast from Windows can view extended screen up to 4K60. The audio output is always active along with the HDMI output. Inside the box, you have two Wi-Fi modules. One module is dedicated for Miracast, P2P, and local hotspot. The other Wi-Fi module is mainly to connect to the network for management or streaming services. However, if you were to use ScreenBeam for AirPlay screen mirroring or anything that's going over the network, then Ethernet connection is highly recommended. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or other problems, please post them in the comment section below.